This video is going to show you how to use your calculator effectively in your calculator exam. It's going to include looking at how we evaluate numbers as well as finding fractions and percentages of amounts using our calculator and then how we apply these methods when you get a question that's written in context, which means in real life terms. First of all, we need to be able to set up our calculator. So there are a few different things that the people before you might have done on your calculator to change the mode. And in the exam, you need to be able to change it back to the, to the correct mode that you want. So you want to go to mode and you want the uh, computer mode or comp mode. So that's the first thing you do. Then we need to set it up. So you want to go to setup. The first thing is we want it in maths mode. So select one and then again maths mode. So select one again. The second thing is that you want it in the normal mode, not the scientific mode. So you just click the number eight and then you just want the first normal mode. So then one afterwards. OK, now you should be ready to go. So what type of questions might you get then? Well, these are the simplest type of questions and they, this is where the examiner just wants you to calculate these values. And they just are testing if you know how to use your calculator for these questions. They're asked, wanting to know if you know where this squared button is and if you know where the square root button is. So this is the squared button here. You click it, you put in the number that the examiner's given you, and then you just click equals. You might have seen before in your lessons that you get a, a fractional answer. Uh, this is still the correct answer, but we don't normally write um, answers in, in using fractions. So you want to go down to this SD button, click that, and then it converts it into a decimal for you. So that's 338.56. So you literally just write down 338.56. Then always obviously then go back to your calculator and just check that that's the same on your calculator as you've written down. And it is great. Next thing is the square root button. So I'm going to clear this. Your square root button is here. As you can see, you've got sort of that little tick with the flat top. And again, here we've got a little tick with the flat top. So you should be able to identify it quite easily. 3,136. And the square root of that is 56. Again, you just write down 56. And there's your answer. OK, here's another two questions. Try these ones on your own. Pause the video and then I'll give the answers in two seconds. OK, so you should have done these questions now. You should have got an answer of the square root of 1,225 is 35. So hopefully you got that. The second answer is a bit trickier because I hadn't told you how to find this button. And to find this button, you need to find the cubed, which is up here. So I wanted seven cubed. So click that button, click in seven. This display should now look exactly like the examiner's uh, question. Click equals and great. The answer is 343. Okay. So now, what about if they want percentages, fractions of amounts, or if they want you to convert between decimals and fractions? Well, the main thing you need to know is what this of word means in maths. What mathematical operation does it mean? If I asked you for um, three lots of five, we'd do three times five, which is 15. If I asked you for uh, seven lots of nine, uh, you'd tell me it's 63. So... If you get a question like this in the exam, which is asking you for 37% of 80 kilograms, we can just use the fact that of means times to work it out in one step on our calculator. So I'm going to clear the previous work. So 37%. Now take a minute and just see if you can find the percent button. Okay, it's just here, just above the open bracket. So I want to write the percentage in. Now it's in yellow. So if I press this button, I'm going to get the bracket. So to get the percentage up, I press shift percentage. So I want 37% of, which is the times button, 80. Now that gives you the whole question in one step. Again, we get a fractional answer. So let's change it to a decimal. Right, 29.6 kilograms. Remember to always put your... Uh, units in if they don't give them to you in the exam. 
Next question, it says write two fifths as a decimal. Well, again, there's a button on the calculator to do this for us. Here's our fraction button here. Click it, write in what the examiner's given to you. To move around a fraction, you use this the cursor button here like you would on a, a Game Boy or a, I don't know, a mobile phone maybe. So, two fifths, we want to know what that equals as a decimal, so I'm just going to press the equals and see what my calculator tells me. Well, the same thing has come up, but you should have hopefully realised from the last couple of questions that if you get a fraction and you want a decimal, what do you press? Well, this button here. So there you go, there's the answer. 0 0.4. And it's vice versa, which what I mean by that is if they give you a decimal, and then we turn it into a fraction. So, for example, if they gave you um, 0 0.125, and they said, what's that as a, as a fraction? You'd put 0 0.125 into the calculator, and it would give you it as a fraction. So you'd know that's 1 8. Okay, moving down here. Sorry, that's not a very good multiplication sign. We know that of means times. So I'm just going to put that multiplication sign down there. We know how to do 3 eighths now, because I've just shown you that button. So it's 3, move, move down with the cursor, 3 eighths. Of means times. So 3 eighths of 48. 18. Again, there's your answer, nice and simple. Okay, so what other questions might they ask you? Well, this question is testing your rounding skills, obviously because it asks you to give it to three decimal places, but also, again, your use of a calculator. So always clear the screen first. And um, quite often people start by putting in uh, 4.2 times 1.8. They work out the answer, write that down, then work out the denominator, write that down. But you can just do it all in one step if you know how to use your calculator properly. So what we do is we get our fraction button up and then we write the top in and the bottom in and then just press equals all in one go. So 4.2 times 1.8. Now make sure that you go down to the denominator. You don't continue writing at the top here. So go down. 18.7 take away 5.9. And then you can just make sure you've got that exactly the same. So just put your calculator next to the question. Does that all match? Yeah, brilliant. Press equals. Again, we get a fraction answer. We want a, a decimal. Always, always write this down. Because even if you get your rounding bit wrong, you get a mark for getting this bit correct. So 0 0.590. Um... 625. So now we need to round. Now if you're in my classes you'll know my poem. So you find your place, so we want the third decimal place, so that's here. We look next door, so I've drawn a door on. I look next door, five or greater, you add one more. So this is five or more, so five, six, seven, eight or nine, you add one more. So that becomes a one. Well, the numbers to the left stay the same, so the 9, the 5, and the 0 remain the same. Or the numbers to the right, 0 is your name, so we don't need to write them down. So the answer is 0 0.591. So next then, we're going to look at using these skills in context. So if you see a question like this, you've got a calculator with you, don't panic. You just need to underline all the key information and work out exactly what the question is asking you. So the first thing it says is each bottle of cola contains two litres. So I'm going to underline that because that's obviously a piece of key information. So we also know that Tony drank three quarters of a bottle of Coke. So of, remember our keyword of means times. Heather drank 62% of a bottle of cola. Right, we know a bottle of cola is two litres. How much more cola did Tony drink? That's got to be a keyword because they put it in bold for us anyway. So how much more cola did Tony drink than Heather? Okay, so we're looking for a difference, basically. So I'm just going to write that down. I'm looking for a difference. And it says, give your answer in millimetres. All right, so that's really important because they've told us they want the answer in millilitres, but they've given us the question in litres. 
So I'd always convert this first. You should know that one litre is 1,000 millilitres. And so two litres, you should already have this answer in your head, is 2,000 millilitres. So that's what we're working with. So I'm going to label the first one T for Tony. And I'm going to say, okay, well, he drank three quarters of 2,000 millilitres. I'm going to get my calculator, and I'm going to do three quarters. And it off means times 2,000. So how much did he drink? He drank 1,500 millilitres. Brilliant, that was nice and easy. H is for Heather. So she drank 62% of a bottle of cola. So 62, do you remember where the percent button is? Okay, so it's here, so you must press shift first. Of, again, is times, again, it's 2,000 millilitres. So she drank, so let's write it in first, sorry, 62% of 2000. Always write your working, even if you forgot like I did then and you've already put it in your calculator, make sure you go back and write it on your paper because if you make a silly mistake by writing the wrong answer down from your calculator or if you put the question in wrong, if they can see you're working and what you've done, they should be able to give you method marks for it. So that's 1240 millilitres. So that's the two amounts that they drank. The question says, so once I've done that, because this is quite a long question, I'll always go back and read it again and see right, what did they actually want. Was that the answer they wanted? Well, no, they wanted to know how much more did he drink. So we just need to find the difference. So we want to do 1,500 take away 1,240, which means that he drank an extra 260 millilitres. And there's your answer. This was, I think, was a three or four mark exam question. So although it might seem a little bit harder because it's in context, actually, it's exactly the same as where are they? The questions we were doing here. It's just that they've now been put into into a real life situation. So they want to check that you can do these simple calculations on your calculator when you get given um, a question which is more uh, problem solving. Okay, let's see what else we've got then. So Luke brought a bottle of aftershave for $82. Sales tax of 6% was added onto this price. How much did Luke pay in total? Well, first of all, we've got more money being added on to £82. So the first thing I'm going to say is that my answer has got to be bigger than $82. Always think, is your answer sensible is it a, does it make sense that your answer is whatever you get it to be so i know my answer's got to be bigger than this amount so i need to work out what six percent of 82 dollars is now we don't have our of word explicitly written in this question but in your head you should be thinking well i want six percent of 82 dollars so six percent of $82 because you want to work out how much extra he needs to pay. So again, 6% of 82 is going to give us, a, so he needs to pay an extra £4.92. Sorry, not £4. $4.92. Okay, so quite often people will leave that as your answer. Please make sure you go back and read the question. Once you've done one step, go back and read the question. You want to know how much he paid in total okay so you must then go back and add this amount onto the original 82 pounds again press SD right so it's 86 pounds and 92 pence 86 pounds and 92 pence remember if you ever get given a money question and it's the decimal points longer than two decimal places you always need to round to two decimal places because you're working with money and money is always given to two decimal places so that's really really important what else do we have so a pair of shoes cost 94 pound okay key information 
in a sale, the price is reduced by 18%. Oh, so let's just go back to that question. I just thought, like I was saying earlier, we said that the answer should be more than £82, so we should have checked that. Yeah, it is bigger than 82 sorry, $82, so this is great. So this, make, this answer makes sense. So going back to here, this answer should be less than £94 because the shoes are in a sale, the price has been reduced. Okay, so we need to calculate the price. Where in your head you should be thinking, I need to work out 18% of £94. So get your calculator up, 18% of £94, let's do it, right, so the money off is £16.92, nice little reduction, again, people all the time leave their answer as £16.92, that isn't the answer, you need to take that away from the £94, that's the money that's been taken off. So go back to your calculator. You should also um, be able to work this out from the number of marks in the question. If it's a two or three mark question, there's always gonna be two or three steps. So we're gonna take our original 94 pounds and take away our answer. Or if you wanted to, you could write it back in. 16.92. Press the SD button. So the new price of the shoes is 77 pound and eight pence. I hope you found this um, video useful. Please try to get familiar with this um, scientific calculator. It's really, really useful to be able to use in your exam. And there are so many marks that are based on your ability to use it effectively and efficiently, because that's obviously a really important life skill for when you leave school and when you move on to your uh, career in whatever it might be, or just in your general everyday life. So please do make sure you take time to work out how to use this calculator properly. Okay.